This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com So the other day when I took requests of what people want me to make a video about, I indicated the request that got the most votes would, uh, I'd do a video about that. And I think I got about 20 replies, but the only one request occurred twice. From Marnie Speaks, quote, How about getting off the grid, secession, leaving the U.S., or gathering in one state? Unquote. Sort of matched up with Russell Roberts' quote, quote, How about the growth of the liberty movement, like how we can come together? Unquote. Well, I guess in theory, pretty much all 2,500 of my other videos are already about that, uh, or at least they're aimed toward, toward bringing that about a bunch of liberty activists gathering together in New Hampshire. But if you insist, I'll come up with something new to say about that. Or at least maybe something you haven't heard before. My theory is that the actual physical presence of each individual in New Hampshire, you know, each free state or liberty activist or whatever, is actually secondary to their levels of individual action. How much action are they taking related to New Hampshire liberty? People assume you got to be in New Hampshire to do that, but eh, it actually, I think, only helps. If the entire movement were outside New Hampshire, that wouldn't work. But as with anything else, there are all kinds of different gaps in our capabilities, many of which can be filled while you're visiting California, or even while you still live in California, or Botswana for that matter. The problem is just that most people don't. While they're outside New Hampshire, they just, unless they're maybe just visiting someplace, they just don't do anything for us in most cases. Even in cases where they could have a decisive effect by themselves. For instance, if Ron Paul had moved to New Hampshire instead of starting all of his tried to move a mountain with a pickup truck stuff uh, that, that followed his, his, uh, his uh, presidential campaigns, well, that would have put us right over the top. We'd be three times as far along now as we were before. That would mean Liberty's best hope, the part that really counts, would be three times as far along. But he didn't do that. He just did this, sort of the same stuff everyone else seems to do. To, you know, talk a talk show or uh, a political action committee or whatever the campaign for Liberty is while it does almost nothing of interest. Or if he'd stayed where he was and used his bully pulpit to promote more uh, of what we're doing and less of his I'm against the federal government thing. Now that's a, he's a big example, but the same applies to individuals on a, on a smaller level too, even you maybe. If you think you're ever going to be in New Hampshire to live here, it's probably better if you're not wasting your time on saving Phoenix, Arizona or something. You'll get 10 times as far with each hour of effort if you're focused on New Hampshire, and you, and that's even if you're in Phoenix. My body, my property. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.